was Snoke? That's a question many of us have asked since The Force Awakens first came out back in 2015. And even though we never did get any answers about that in The Last Jedi, the mystery of Snoke has finally solved itself in The Rise of Skywalker. Well, kind of. In the movie, we're shown that Palpatine had created Snoke, which we visually see different unused Snoke clones on Exegol. But at the same time, there's still confusion regarding Snoke, especially with the casual fans as many are under the understanding that Palpatine was controlling and speaking through Snoke. And that's hardly the truth. Yes, Palpatine may have created Snoke, but Snoke was his own living, breathing, sentient being. Thanks to the Rise of Skywalker Visual Dictionary, we're able to get the full scoop on who or what Snoke is, and what his purpose truly was. Artificially created by Palpatine with the assistance of his loyalists of the Sith Eternal through ancient Sith science on the planet Exegol, Snoke was made to serve as the leader of the First Order. Of course, the early First Order had no knowledge of who Snoke was, and wouldn't bow down to just anybody, which is why the Sith Eternal made sure that Snoke would possess the knowledge and the Force ability of the Dark Side allowing him to take the role of Supreme Leader with ease through fear and by force. With the Sith fleet and army still in the process of being built, Palpatine in the meantime ordered Snoke to kill Luke Skywalker, and also lure Ben Solo, a Skywalker by blood, to the dark side and transform him into a Sith. Of course, Kylo Ren at the time had no knowledge that he was secretly being groomed to become a Sith, despite even being ordered to murder his father which was actually the first step in the Sith Trial of Ascendancy, requiring the sacrifice of a loved one to unlock newfound depths of dark power. In the meantime, Snoke kept information away from his master, such as knowing that Kylo and Rey had a formed Force connection, which was the prophesized dyad in the Force. This information alone would have greatly changed Palpatine's plans, and it's unclear whether Snoke wanted to use this power for himself. Regardless, he lied to Rey and Kylo, telling them that he was the one that had connected them, while in reality the two had their minds bridged during Kylo's mind probe of Rey, which was only possible due to them forming a dyad in the Force. When Snoke did perish, it was only Kylo left who knew about the dyad, to which he later revealed to Rey on Kijimi. However, at the same time, it needs to be noted that Palpatine also didn't reveal his full intentions to Snoke, as in actuality, Snoke's real existence had been the whole time to be the final test of Kylo Ren, measure his capacity to inherit the Sith legacy and then have him overthrow his master and succeed in what Darth Vader failed to do. It's likely that Palpatine knew his own creation Snoke would have become too bold and overconfident in time, considering all the power that was given to him, and perhaps even turn against Palpatine later. Which is why Palpatine's plan all along was to have Kylo kill Snoke, lead the First Order, form with the Sith Eternal, and then later give his body up as a new vessel for Palpatine, who the whole time needed a new body before he could truly reveal himself to the galaxy. Of course, as we all know, this didn't go to plan at all, as Kylo had no intentions of sharing his power with anyone, and even hated the Sith despite unbeknownst to him being groomed to become one all this time. Not to mention, Kylo also fails his final test in killing Rey, and as such is deemed not worthy anymore in Palpatine's mind. It's at this point Palpatine turns his hopes to Rey, and well, we all know the story from there. Now granted, none of this stuff was planned from the beginning and merely all pieced together after the fact with JJ's return to direct Tross, as Snoke originally was supposed to be something more than a simple underling to Palpatine. But anyways, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are now on Snoke, especially with the entire sequel trilogy all wrapped up now. Let me know and let's get a conversation going. And as always, be sure to like and share this video, as well to keep it here to Silo for everything on the latest in Star Wars. And 7 from Silo, signing out.